Hi, I'm Tim Williams of Dwyer Williams Potter Injury Accident Attorneys. I'm the lead litigation attorney for our firm. You know, the knee can become fractured uh, in, in an injury, particularly uh, car crashes uh, or falls on the knee, and, and especially when you fall straight down on the knee itself. But it's interesting how the fractures come about. Let's look at the model. Here, we have a model of the knee. This is the right knee, so this is the front of your knee here, this is the outside, and this is the inside. And because of the nature of the knee, it's held together essentially by four connective bands. Uh, we see here one of the bands, and this is another band here. The other two on the inside generally aren't associated with fractures. So basically, when your knee is under pressure, it's these two outside bands that are holding it together. So if you fall straight down in your knee, you can, you can fracture the patella. And that's pretty easy to do. It generally heals on its own. Once in a while, they'll have to, to uh, uh, do surgery and either screw it together or put a plate in there. But what's more interesting is if you have pressure suddenly to the outside of your knee, forcing it to do this, or the inside of your knee, forcing it to do that, and it's hard to do because the bands are fairly tight, as it should be in a knee, uh, it puts pressure on the band. So let's say you have an impact from the inside, it forces the knee to, go, to move this way uh, itself. It, it actually puts pressure on that band and you can see it stretching there. And what happens is that because the band is anchored to the bones in the bottom part of your leg and the bones in the top part of your leg uh, on the outside, it can actually pull this whole section off from your, from your femur. This is your, your main leg bone. This is your thigh up here. It can pull that off, and that's what's called an avulsion fracture. In this diagram, we see just that type of fracture. Now, the bands themselves are not on there, but you can see the area I was just pointing to is actually pulled away from the, the main part of the bone. And again, that's called an avulsion fracture. So not only can you have fractures on the outside of your knees, uh, you can actually have a, have a fracture where the fibula connects to the tibia right down here. And if you have a jarring injury, particularly from the outside, uh, it can actually put pressure right there in that little joint, and it can, it can pull the joint apart. And that, as you might imagine, is incredibly painful probably need surgery to fix it. So knee injuries are, are common, unfortunately. Uh, fractures, while they're easy to prove, are often undervalued by insurance companies. And that's where you need a lawyer in your corner fighting for you to explain not only how painful it is now, but any complications you might have in the future.